gonna sit on that side just by kind of wait for everybody to get here. Okay. What I explained at Open House is that your child is like a boat and they have holes in their foundation skills. So this program allows them to plug those holes but still move forward, continue to sail with grade level content. So have you ever gone to the grocery store and it looks like a deal? Four bags for six dollars, but you're having a party, so you need 12. Transmath has really helped us target the kids that um, really had some math deficiencies, um, but still, they still need to learn algebra. Transmath just gives them that building block to close those gaps that they actually have. Does anyone need a pencil before we begin? Okay, I sharpen pencils. The students in my classroom are sixth graders. Some might have a learning disability in math. Some of them might have a weakness in math. Okay, so page 134, take a couple of minutes. They didn't want to do math because they think they're used to failing and they're used to stumbling and not getting it. And after we do the first lessons in the first units, and then we do our first quiz, like all of them passed and it gave them that confidence like, hey, I can do this. You're gonna lay your protractor right on top of the line that they have right here. Transmath allows our students to continue to learn grade level content while they also shore up basic math skills. They're both even, what would we divide by? I can say to the eighth graders or the seventh graders, this is what they're doing in the eighth or seventh grade classroom also. Watch your friends do their math. They are doing something similar. Greater than five? So I'm going to shade to here. So they do realize they are doing grade level content as well as practicing those other skills. Just knew that without even thinking, did you? Chris has taught math all her life. Um, Jennifer does not have a background as a math teacher and their data in terms of success of the kids is you can't tell who's who. You can't tell which teacher has math experience. Um, the program makes it that easy like to, to be, be a successful math teacher. Even the most talented teachers um, they're not miracle workers and having something prescriptive that will help people when they realize, oh my gosh, this is really good and if it really works, there's always buy into it. And uh, we've seen that it works. And then on page 127, you're going to do a little bit of practice graphing an inequality. There's three pieces that I like. The workbook allows for practice where you're not necessarily on your own, but you can be independent if you're feeling really strong. Then we bridge that review to the textbook lesson where we work together. We teach a little, they try independently or together, then they talk to one another. And then the computer component allows them to, again, try independently. The technology, they love technology. Anyone that wants to share the area model? Will, you want to share it? We've seen kids that the expected growth is 200 um, points in a year for a sixth grader, and he's had 500 points already. So, I mean, that's huge growth. He probably had more skills than he was showing us in the fall, but now he okay. feels good about himself and wants to show us what he knows. Ariana's gonna show hers. Ariana, she's kind of come out of her shell. So when she took the PAM, you know, she scored a little bit lower, and now she's one of our highest scorers in our quizzes. And uh, the other students are competing against her as well, too. So they kind of made it like their own little competition. Oh, she got a 90%, I gotta get a 90%. I know when we presented the data, in front of the Board of Ed, they were just like in awe of the growth that the kids are making uh, from the use of trans math with our district assessments um, to our state assessments. But now you see kids engaged. You see them participating. You see them answering questions. Um, you see them proud, uh, being proud of their learning. I have one mom that tells me all the time, my son never liked math until he was in your math class. Does the student have the skills to attack grade level content? And I can say without a doubt, yes. Wow. They continue to show growth. They're moving <laughs> along through the curriculum. They will be ready for high school See? credit algebra. All right. You keep going, Caleb. That's okay. Oh, he's, yeah, she's got to get in her locker.